That's the running joke right now. The pothole killer got taken out by a pothole. But I like to say the pothole killer still standing. <laughs> okay. It would have been hard to believe last night, but the so-called pothole killer was back in action again today in Niagara Falls. That truck which repairs the potholes on the Cataract City streets, it fell partly into the hole when a sinkhole opened up yesterday. News Force Chris Servatis talked to the Public Works employee who was driving that truck, and he has some new information on what happened. Chris? Well, even that driver said he was surprised. He's still able to fill potholes with that truck today. Last night, it was lifted out of that sinkhole at the intersection of 18th Street and South Avenue in the falls. The city's public works director, John Case, told me the hole opened up because of a water main break underneath the road. It was about a six inch break that Queso said created a void in the road. The 32,000 pound pothole killer proved to be just too much weight for it. After they got the truck out of the ground, water crews repaired the main and concrete was put down on the road, according to Queso. Ed Jones was driving the pothole killer at the time. Here's how he described what happened. When I stopped completely to do the patch, um, I heard a sound. And with that sound, I, you know, saw my truck going down into the hole. And once it went down into the hole, you know, um, it went kind of like halfway a little bit, you know. I thought that was the end, but then it continued to go down, you know, to the point to where it was in there pretty good to where I could reach out my hands and touch the ground. That's not supposed to happen. Jones was apparently unnerved by what did happen there. I ran into him back in that truck on 16th Street this afternoon, patching holes there. Public works crews are asking drivers to be cautious around the potholes in the city. They're trying to fill them, but there's one big problem, and we're going to get into that a little bit later. Chris Horvath, it's News 4 at 5. Well, happening tonight, food trucks, live music, even vendors, they're all going to take over the Buffalo Zoo tonight. It's for the sixth annual. Buffalo Fest, and it's happening from 5.30 until 9 o'clock tonight. And the money that they raise from this event will support the care and the maintenance of the animals at the zoo. Officials are expecting more than 2,500 people to attend. That's a lot of people, and thousands of bicyclists are gearing up for this weekend's Sky Ride. The annual event takes bikers on a scenic ride over the 100 foot high Skyway. Riders will gather at LaSalle Park beginning at 6 a.m. on Sunday, and they'll take off about 8 a.m. This course covers other major roadways like the 33 and the 198, so if you're driving this weekend, make sure you look for those posted detours out there, and of course, all the bicyclists. Here's a live look now. This is a live look at the Skyway. You can see how traffic is flowing outbound there, looks like. It's been a very nice day, been breezy though. And of course, all the bicyclists are wondering about the weather for this weekend, Todd. And they're not the only ones. A lot of people have a big weekend planned ahead, Todd. Yeah, a lot. I, I do.